Hey gang, welcome back. Ellen D here. Um, hey, uh, another base re base review for you with this video. And before I get into that, I just um, first of all, just a big thank you to um, new subscribers. Uh, I've hit fifty three subscribers, so that's that's a that's a milestone. All right, I feel good about that. That, that makes me happy. And it's gratifying to know that people are watching my videos and appreciate my content enough to subscribe. So again, thank you. All right, so I did. I mentioned my in my last video, I was going to be out for a couple days. Um, went camping, camping up in the woods. It was kind of kind of cold. It uh, didn't quite snow, but it was close. Um, but as one byproduct of that is that I missed some attacks, and so my trophy level has dropped. Right, <laughs> so um, so with this base, I did manage to run it for two days with my two Town Hall 14 accounts. And my accounts, again, these are not max Town Hall 14s. Uh, we're still pretty new. I'm still, I've, all the buildings are dropped, all the walls and everything, all the new structures are down, so you get the footprint. But I'm still working on getting the, the, the builder huts upgraded and just all, you know, everything leveled up. Um, none of the defenses have been, have been bumped up to uh, Town Hall 14 level yet. So that's still a work in progress. But you still get a good idea of how this base operates. Um, and I'll tell you, so with Warlord, day one was at the 5400 trophy level. Uh, day two was at 5209 because I missed a full, full day of attacks. And then Friday night, I missed three attacks that day too. So I got I to gotta build back up. Uh, with Snake Eyes, day one was uh, 5300 trophy level. And day two was 5177, so just below 5200. Um, and I'm going to give you some numbers to uh, show you how the how this base performed um, for those days. Overall, I would say I have to say this is a very good base. It, it performed quite well, uh, surprisingly well, in, in my in my view. Um, and I just want to point out uh, this is a base that Sir Moose Gaming posted a few days ago. I you know I snagged a copy. I wanted to run it, try it out, see how it works. Um, I don't do a lot of my own base design. I'll tweak bases, and I do have some tweaks in mind for this base. Um, but mostly, it's it's me trying bases at different trophy levels to see how they work and what i know from this base is, is this is one that i want to try at a higher trophy level all right so let me let me just show you my battle log here all right so this is today uh just a bunch of two stars right and uh, 193 overall um in in eight defenses that's a 24.1 trophy loss per defense average that's 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 it's solid. That's a very solid number. You can live with 24. Um, losing 24 trophies on defense, that's not bad. And then yesterday's numbers, um, interesting. Three starred two times, but also singled twice. So that kind of balanced out. So again, minus 195 and a 24.1 average. Um, very good numbers there. Okay. And uh, let's see. With... Uh, well, let's get into a replay. How about that? All right, so the first one that I wanted to show you here is just the classic Super Wiz Go Wii. Now, one thing with the... Oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot to lay out the base. This is the base we're talking about, guys. I am so sorry. All right, photo mode here. All right, so this is... And you may be already seeing this base, but some of the features here are obviously you've got the... You get the Expo Eagle box in that compartment there. That's a beast to take care of or get rid of. You got scatters. You've got the clan castle over here. So you've really got your key defensive structures spread out around the base. And that that Eagle Artillery Expo compartment is a beast. Right now, when I have faced this base, I, I don't I have three started. I don't restart all the time. I certainly not. Um, I, but I, I have three started, and when I have been able to do so, what works best, um, or where I've had the best experience, is queen charge from 12 o'clock. And if if my queen goes tracks towards the, the clan castle, takes out those troops, well, the rest of my troops um, sweep out through the through the uh, expo compartment, and then you got to get you know log launcher or blimp or something into the town hall to take out the town hall. Um, that's where that is this has worked well for me now what does not work is when my queen because she's you know she does her own thing when my queen does not follow that plan and when she follows the main troops or she she goes somewhere else then i'm looking usually at a usually at a decent percentage two-star attack all right so let's see how some people attack me here 
<clears throat> First off, Super was Goey, uh, bringing in eight quakes, uh, the log launcher. This, it's a classic setup, right? Now, one thing with the the building, the builder huts, when they the um, you know they they repair structures during battle. So placement of these things, you get pay attention to the builders. Dropping the quakes early, those builders are going to they're going to get to work, right? Fixing those structures, right? You can see them pounding away on the air sweeper. Uh, they're gonna, they repair their their own huts first, but then they repair the surrounding structures. So you lose a little bit of that value from the using those quakes early, and so it, it might be better to sequence the quakes as the battle progresses. That's more to pay attention to. That's more distraction. It can be yeah, that can create some problems in in trying to uh, just pay attention to what's going on in the battle space. So that's 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 it's a development that I'm watching for just to see if people if players adjust in how they're dropping the quakes based on how the the builders are repairing the structures. But here you see it's a, it's just a classic super go we we're, we've spread everything out we've quaked open the middle and then we're just kind of seeing what you know can get what we can get right. And we already know this is not a three star, you know, and that's a super was go. We for a while it was very strong. Now it's it's tough to three star with it because there's, there's no regenerative troops, right? If you had if you had healers, if you to help you push through the back end, that might make a difference. Um, if you could save some of the some of the quakes, maybe maybe use a jump instead of instead of four quakes, and then you could bring like two skeleton spells or a couple extra freezes that might help with that that back end push to, to finish out the base um, but here that that was not the case we got an 89 percent two star which was above the average this, this is one of the better attacks against this base uh 29 trophies lost it's not bad all right um i want to jump over to snake eyes real quick and show you what happened here because i'm this was kind of uh, this was shocking to me honestly like um, I'm looking at, I was getting ready to do this video and I started looking at the numbers. I was like, oh, wow, really? That's kind of, that's stunning. Um, you know, I told you day one started at 5,300 trophy level. Oh, sorry, I had a little bit of a lag there. Let's, let's pull up the battle log, right? So day one, minus 181 overall on eight defenses, right? And mostly two stars. We have a single one star in there. Um, average trophy loss 181 and that gives us a 22.6 average that's very good again very good numbers there but then look at today oh my goodness uh, I got one two three one stars and uh, an outright victory and a couple well, three three two stars right um, for minus 89 on seven right I still have, still have one defense waiting but minus 89 are you kidding me that's that is astonishing. That is a twelve point seven average trophy loss per defense average. I, I listen twelve point seven. That's amazing, right? Uh, if you can get twelve point seven, um, that's that's fantastic. You're gonna have a good day. You could almost you could almost have horrible attacks and still end up on the plus side. I still have three attacks to go, and I'm plus seventy four already. And that's one note I want to make, guys. So I, I missed a day. I, I missed all my attacks yesterday. I missed three attacks on, on Friday. Um, but I have found in my, you know, if I, if you do miss attacks in, in Legend League, um, your following days, like you, your opponents seem to be a little bit lighter. And so I've always been able to make up ground very quickly. So for a while, if I was going to go on camping or something, I would buy like a two-day shield just to try to hold on to my trophies. But I don't think that's necessary. And I've learned that it's really not because um, if you come back, if you do drop a couple hundred, a couple hundred trophies, and you come back, you're likely to you're likely to, to make it up. All right, so let's let's show you the win, the, the 36 percenter. All right, um, and I, my thought was, okay, was this a legit attack? Like what? what happened here but well, we're heroes down but no we've got this is a town hall 14 attacking me i've got uh or all heroes are present and accounted for um it's an interesting ar army but you got healers you got some super wizards you've got valkyries and witches like th it's a legitimate army um it just did not go well for this attacker and I think you, you know you see the queen charge starting at twelve o'clock, and look, I, I've often done started that queen charge right there in the same spot, but yeah, missed the wall break, right? 
So no super wall breakers, just trying to come in with the regular wall breakers. Did not get the wall break, and I think that's where things started to go sideways for this attacker. Um, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit because it's just, it, it, it's one of those attacks where you kind of feel bad for the attacker, you know? The, the air defense starts taking out the healers and then send the ram into the middle, but you're just kind of dropping everything. I can I can feel the attacker panicking. <laughs> just be like, oh, I got I to gotta get a star. I got to save the star. And it just doesn't work out. You, know, you got a you got a Pekka coming out of that of that ram, but there's just too much juice in the middle. Dropping quicks in the town hall, just hoping for something, and the town hall holds, and just yeah, it just went sideways really fast. I just I feel bad. I'm, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to highlight that attacker. You know, it's good for me on defense to get a zero percent. But all right, let's let's look at a, a different attack, and this is M Kiswani. Yeah, coming in with the super giants, witches, couple golems, and support. Got four quakes, and coming from the the twelve to nine o'clock line. All right, and just giants, super giants in a row. Now the super giants got a little bit of a nerf with this last update. Uh, they they lost some hit points. They're they're not quite the super tanks that you, they once were. Um, obviously, still pretty powerful. Right, and they're just they're coming in, right? It's just online on moss, and you got the witches behind taking out the structures and the log launcher doing doing business, and trying to work its way to the town hall. Um, I'm just gonna speed this up, gang. All right, um, nice funnel of all the heroes, and you got those yetis popping out of the log launcher right into the into the core, taking out the town hall. Quake on the backside to give them an exit to get into the other structures. But this is where this is where those defenses start to catch up with the attack, right? You got the the four expos screaming down. You got the eagle artillery dropping dropping those big bombs, those big blasts, and the attack kind of falters at that point. And still still have two expos and a scatter shot to deal with. Not to mention the queen. So that this attack is pretty much over. A, a very solid two star attack. But that's that's your super giants and witches coming at you. All right, now let's bounce back to Warlord. If you're still with me, I know base review videos, average watch time is like two minutes. I'm already at 12, so I know I've lost some folks. That's fine. I'm, I'm not complaining. All right, but if you have stuck with me, let's take a look at, at the three stars. All right, and I gotta scroll down a bit to find them. Um, this was a different kind of attack, a Yetis and Bowlers, a um, bit, bit different there, and the hybrid, right? Kind of a classic hybrid. Let's run through these real quick. And I will go two times here just to just to speed things up a little bit. And this one, okay, so Queen Charge into the Expos. That is, this is hard, right? It makes sense that if you can take out this this expo compartment with your queen charge you've done a, a great service to the rest of your army right because you're taking out a lot of that defensive defensive strength now the key is to only face two expos at a time with your queen right she can handle that with with the healers and the rage and all that now the queen did an interesting left turn and then you got all the the, um, the yetis and the bowlers. They're kind of bouncing, they're right? They're they're following the the path around the outside, right? Because you got the dead channels around the town hall. One yeti did manage to go in, but what's happening here is the queen is going to bounce back around to the town hall, and actually the king jumped in back into the town hall as well. So that worked out well for this attack, although it could have gone differently. Um, I'm not I'm not suggesting that was close to saving the defense here, but you know a little bit of luck involved and there's nothing wrong with that i've been lucky with attacks all the time and i'm i will take the luck i'm happy with it right in the end it ends up being a little bit of a close one almost held that third star uh the king king managed to take it out at the end though all right so that's a solid attack three stars against all right now let's let's look at the hybrid and let me scroll down to find that all right, so here's the hybrid. And now this is where the, these channels, right? The, the channels across the sides, right? The sides and this one on the other side of the expo compartment. This can kind of work against you because it creates some natural pathing 
for your, especially a hybrid, right? So you queen charge up top, you just cut a little path with, with the queen, and then the hybrid can sweep from three to, to six to nine. As long as you've got something to take out the town hall, and in this case, you got a Yeti blimp, um, this can be an excellent strategy against this base. Now, the trick is you don't get to plan this, right? You just you hit you hit attack, and the base pops up, and you're like, okay, hope I got my hybrid ready. Um, if you're not running a hybrid, well, I'm sorry. All right, so but it's classic hybrid, right? Queen charge into into the uh, that twelve o'clock compartment. You got the king uh, at three o'clock. Just just to channel the hybrid, the main force, the miners and the hogs back into those expos. King is drawing some fire from the expos, drawing a lot of fire from the expos, and that allows the miners and the hogs to get in there and get to work. Uh, Yeti blimp coming in, nice nice job with the uh, warden's ability to protect it from the, the air mine. <coughs> Sorry. All right, Yeti's drop. Town hall goes down, and those Yetis are going to take out the Inferno Towers. Uh, they are going to leave some structures standing in the middle as the uh, the lava pups are are, are finishing off those yetis. Uh, the hybrid is is petering out a bit. He's still got a lot of miners down here. And then look what happened to the queen, right? She took out the, the 12 o'clock compartment. She took out the 2 o'clock compartment. And now she's battling down. She's going to work that 12 to 9 o'clock line. And this is what I said in the beginning, right? If you can get the queen supported by healers to, to work on, on that line of structures right and to take out the clan castle while the rest of your force sweeps the rest of the base you, you're likely to get a three star right and when i have three star this base that's a similar path that my troops took right where my queen managed to go where i wanted her to go and and work that backside and so here uh, you know i wanted to say this was close but it's really not you, you know swagging queen's ability i think swagger freeze couple freezes just yeah it got me it got me good all right gang that that's my video for today um a, again very good base i'm gonna give you some overall numbers so uh, i broke this down into two right because uh, i'm i'm gonna take the lowest day out right that that really good day that snake eyes had i'm gonna take that out um so without that you had 24 attacks and a 23.7 average which is phenomenal and then including that wonderful day for snake eyes you have 31 attacks against this base and a 21.2 um trophies lost on average uh per defense um what did i say 21.2 average loss right that's that's really good all right gang um that's my video thanks for checking me out thanks for watching my video and until next time take care